The last time I played a Bizarre Day was about 8 months ago, and honestly, can you blame me? The game has been dead for a while now, and hardly anybody ever plays it anymore. But today, I wanted to make a more serious video, talking about why ABD is one of my favorite games ever, why it died down, and why, to me, it's the perfect JoJo game. <sighs> a Bizarre Day was introduced to Roblox on December 18th, 2018. At that point in time, I had never heard of it, and it would stay that way until October of 2019, when my best friend introduced the game to me in hopes of getting me to watch Shoujo's Bizarre Adventure. I've always been a fan of fighting games, so while it took me a while to get used to the controls and how the game worked, I ended up loving it and playing it every day. When I first started playing it, it was one of those two big Jojo games at the time, the other being Project Jojo, which happened to die around early 2020 as well. If you want me to make a video on this too, of Project Jojo, let me know in the comments, I'll totally do it. But I personally liked ABD more, as it was more laid back and simple than Project Jojo was. The PvP was more fun, the game was really smooth, and the grinding was a lot easier since there weren't nearly as many stands in the game as there are now. And even while I didn't play it anymore, the reason I play games like A Universal Time, Your Bizarre Adventure, or even non-Jojo games like GPO and Zo, it's because ABD got me into that genre of Roblox. Whenever a new update came out, my friends and I would get on and grind for hours until we got a new stand. <laughs> I specifically remember this one time when Killer Queen Requiem came out, or like Vice of Dust or whatever, and me and two or three other friends, we spent days looking for Requiem arrows in my private server. When my friend found one, instead of giving it to me like I begged and pleaded for like hours, he used it and left, which pissed me off beyond belief. But I found one an hour later, so it's okay. Will, I know you're watching this maybe, I forgive you, don't worry. And because of the amount of fun I had in that game, I wanted to show it to others. And that's how I became known as that ABD showcase guy. I got inspired to do this by a YouTuber called Delete Yourself, who I looked up to in the YouTube area. He was a chill content creator who would get the new stands, showcase their moves, and just end the video. And I wanted to make content just like that. And after a ton of those videos, I got introduced to a ton of YouTubers who I still talk to to this day. A big example being Shadow Network, who sits at the top of the Dojo YouTube platform with 108,000 subscribers. Please share some of that fucking clout with me, bro. I need views. I need money. And after a while of playing base ABD, I got introduced to a ton of modded games, like A Bizarre Day Modded, An Extraordinary Day, and my personal favorite, totally not because I was friends with the owners and head of staff, Another Bizarre Day Modded, or ANBDM. And because of these games, I made tons of friends who, even after almost two years, I still talk to in late 2021. I got bored of these games very easily though, as they were all essentially the same game, and didn't have the charm original ABD had. I even made a video back in September of last year called, A Bizarre Day Modded Games Are Bad where I went into detail about why I don't like those games, so if you want more info as to why, the link's in the description or in the top right corner of the screen. I continued to play ABD and enjoyed it with the, until the newest map came out. There was too much grinding involved, the community had devolved into a nuclear waste dump, and it just wasn't the same guy, game I enjoyed playing with friends back in early 2020. To me, ABD was the game where I would fight with friends with easy to learn combat. It was a game with a community that may not have been the nicest, but was fun to interact and chill with. But the best part of ABD, is that it was a gateway that led me into some of my favorite animes of all time, and even got me back into anime as a whole. And because of it, I'm still making content today. If I never discovered it, I don't even know where I would be right now. I don't know if I would still be friends with people I spend all day talking to. So, for the first time in almost a year, I got on ABD with the friends I made because of it. After playing it for the first time in so long, I felt genuinely happy to be back in the game I played so long ago. Even if the game is a fraction of the player base it used to have, and even if the game will no longer be updating because of lack of interest, I will always cherish this game and the memories I've made with it. Playing it again today reminded me of everything I've been through to be where I am today, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you. To all the people who put so much effort into making ABD, to the friends I talk to every day while playing it, and to everyone watching this video. You may not realize it, but you've all changed my life in a way I can't describe, and I will be forever grateful for that. Thank you all.